Gloria. I'm Gloria, and today I am so excited because I am going to share with you my fresh tomato water that I know that you guys are going to love. This is a very healthy and very delicious agua fresca. I hope you like it. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. tomatoes, lime, granulated sugar, one liter of water. My friends, summer is just around the corner. This is a very refreshing and tasted and delicious agua fresca. I know that once you try it, you are going to continue making it at home because what you make at home, it's much better. So let's get started. Let's start preparing this agua fresca. I want to start doing my simple syrups. I have my pan here. I'm adding one cup of sugar and I am going to add one cup of filtered water. We're going to do our simple syrup. So let's go to the stove. Look at this. Okay, I'm turning my stove on. I'm adding my saucepan and I'm going to just be mixing Amigas, aquí se puede ver el azúcar, miren. Vamos a estar mezclando. No nos vamos a retirar hasta que esté completamente toda esta azúcar desuelta. My friends, the sugar is still on the bottom. We're going to be moving it and we are going to be here for just a couple minutes. We want to make sure that the sugar dissolves completely, that there's no crystals of sugar on the bottom of our saucepan. So I'll continue here. It's gonna take a couple minutes, but this is very important because we don't want too much sugar in our aguas frescas. So I'll see you back in a little bit when this is done. Three minutes have passed and look at this. It's nice and clear. It's a little bit yellow, but that's the way it should be. I'm just gonna let it here, turn the stove off and let it relax. I'm gonna start with my fruit. I have my tomatoes here and my limes, and let's go and wash them completely. We wanna wash one by one, making sure that we clean them very, very good under running water. We're rinsing the lemons too, the limes too, because we're gonna use the skin of the lime to add it to this delicious agua fresca. This is done, my friends. Okay, let's start with our agua fresca. Here I have my limes. I'm gonna start just getting a little bit of the, of the lime, just the outer skin. We wanna just get the skin of the lime, little pieces, you know, just very little tiny pieces. We actually just need one tablespoon and this is enough. This is everything that we need, look. Okay, I'm going to reserve it aside and I am going to start with my tomatoes. I have my cup of the blender here. I'm gonna add the three tomatoes and I am going to add about half a cup of water or one cup. I'm gonna go ahead, cover it and we're gonna mix it completely. We're gonna blend it until everything is nice and blended. It only takes just a couple minutes and this is done, my friends. Look at this. All the juices are there. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna pass them through a, a small mesh. We're gonna remove all that little skin and all the little pieces of the tomato the seeds and all of that. We're just gonna go ahead and put them through the, through the sifter. And we're just gonna move it around with the spoon, making sure that all the juice comes out. 
and only the little skin and the um, seeds stay behind. We don't want this part. This is what we don't want in our agua frescas. Okay, after this is done, I want to show you how this looks. Look at this. It's not thick. It's very runny, and that's the way it should be. I have my limes here. I'm going to start cutting my limes. My limes have no seeds, my friends. No seeds at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the juice of the limes directly to the tomato juice. Look at this. These are organic limes from my trees. I'm just going to reserve a little, a little piece for the decoration and the presentation, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up with my lime. Okay, this is done. Now, now is the time where we're going to go ahead, mix it really well. Just to incorporate all those flavors in there. This is my simple syrup. I'm adding one whole cup of the simple syrup. We're going to mix it. And I'm going to add my pinch of salt. Why am, am I adding the pinch of salt? Because the salt is going to bring up those flavors. I have here the little pieces of the lime, the outer skin of the lime. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and mix it. The salt is going to get all those flavors. So when you taste it, this is going to be so delicious. To my tasting, we don't need to add no more sugar. No more simple syrup. This is done. I can't wait to taste it, but I want to show it to you from close up. My friends, I want to show you how this water looks from close up. Look how delicious and the color so beautiful. It's like an orangey red. Look at this. And of course, the little green specks of the lime. This water really comes out so delicious that I know you guys are going to love it and so refreshing instead of getting soft drinks why not make this delicious tomato agua fresca i just wanted to show you from close up the color look at this okay i'm ready to start preparing my pitcher so i'll see you in a little bit now i am ready to add everything to my pitcher look how beautiful my pitcher is i'm gonna go ahead and add ice be generous with your eyes. You want this water to be nice and cold, nice and refreshing. What I'm going to do is just start adding slowly so I do not make a mess. I'm going to start adding all my juice in there. Look at this. The color, I don't know if you could see it very well from, you know, here on the video, but in person it's really beautiful. I'm adding just a little bit of water so I could just add the rest of my little, um, skin of the lime and this is done my friends i can't wait for the presentation and i can't wait to taste it and have a whole glass for myself i'll see you in a little bit ready for my presentation tomato agua fresca 
This is the part I love and I, I enjoy, tasting my recipes. Let's see how this agua fresca came out. Let's see. Mm. You know something, the tomato, the little pieces of the, of the lime is just perfection. I have this little slice of tomato here that of course I'm gonna enjoy. My friends, all these ingredients you have at home, all these ingredients you have at home, why not make this delicious agua fresca of tomato? And you know, once you do it, you're gonna continue making it. Let me enjoy my slice of tomato, excuse me. Mmm. So juicy, so delicious. And this water came out so refreshing, but yet not sugary. This is just perfection. Why have a soft drink when you can make this at home and enjoy it with your family? And it's very healthy. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching my video from start to end. I really do appreciate it. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me thumbs up. Share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell so every time I make a new recipe, my friends, you are notified. Before I say, I see you soon. I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying my tomato agua fresca. Bye-bye.